Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about snakes. I have a royal python here, so I'm bringing it out so that I can show you and talk to you about it. There are over 2,700 different kinds of snake in this world. And out of this number, only 10% are poisonous. So this is the royal python, a very good pet. There are three kinds of snake. We have the poisonous ones or the venomous ones. Then we have the non-venomous snakes and we have the harmless ones. For the venomous snakes, they are poisonous. And if they bite you, you have to get a doctor at once. Otherwise it can be fatal. And in that group, we have cobras, mambas, and uh, vipers. Yeah. They form, and there are, there are others, of course. They form the poisonous snakes. Very, very deadly. Then we have the non-poisonous snakes, which means they can bite, but they don't have any poison. Like this royal python. So when it bites you, you rub salty water on it, or Izal, or spirit, and that is all to, to prevent infection. Then we have the harmless snakes, like the pencil snake and others. Now let's talk about the venomous snakes. We have the cobra. Most of them are black. They are very, very poisonous. And uh, they have some ways by which they can frighten people. It can raise its head and flatten the throat to create what we call hood and to sway in here and there. That's one trick. Another one is they can also eject poison into people's eyes. Not only people, but the eyes of anyone that wants to attack it. And then they can bite. So as soon as a person is bitten by a cobra, you should go to the hospital straight away. Otherwise, it can be deadly. Many snakes lay eggs. Then the eggs will hatch. But we have to remember that day old snakes can kill because they are born with a poison. And as soon as they are born, they have to hunt. And they hunt with the poison. So if you say, oh, this is a baby snake, so you want to handle it, if you are not careful, that will be the last snake you will touch in this world. <laughs> they will transform you into a ghost. So we have to be careful. Snakes will not attack people normally because they use the poison to catch food. In other words, they bite their food like rats and then they will collapse. And it will trace the urine of the animal as it goes and then go and swallow it. It will be flicking the tongue and in fact, it's the tongue that they use to smell. So they will be smelling and smelling and smelling, tracing where the animal went, and it catches up with it and swallows it. As I said, snakes will not waste their poison on human beings they will not eat. They prefer keeping it so that they can hunt their prey with it. So let us be careful when we are dealing with venomous snakes. The next group, that is the non-poisonous snake is the python group. They have teeth so they can bite but they don't have any venom. In this group we have the royal python, the African rock python, the reticulated python, the Burmese python and the giant anaconda. They have to grab their food, their food, live animal, and coil around it, and squeeze the animal until it dies. This one is very small, but it's very muscular. It has a lot of power. So the biggest of the snakes is the anaconda. It can be about 23, 24 feet long. It can weigh several 
kilograms. The longest is the reticulated python. The anaconda is found in Brazil, Southern Amer South America, in the amazing basin. The ret reticulated python is found in Asia. It can be the longest snake, some 27 to 30 feet long. They hide, sleep at a place for many weeks until an animal comes there. Then it dives and strikes the animal and coils around it. Within eight seconds, it has coiled around the animal. And uh, it takes about 90 seconds to kill an animal. And it takes time to swallow it. These are the non poisonous snakes. Then we have the harmless snakes, which you can collect like a string and put around your neck. They cannot bite. So you will see that not all snakes are dangerous. I have been told that in a certain state, people said rattlesnakes were biting their babies. So they placed a bounty on them. Kill one and collect some money. And so there was a bonanza. People were killing and killing and killing and killing. Do you know what happened? That year, rice, maize, millet, wheat harvest was a failure. Why? There was an invasion of rats. They destroyed all the crops. So it means snakes are there to eliminate all rodents and pests so that our crops can grow well. So, this is a python. It can swallow an animal 10 times its head. Very elastic. They are wonderful animals. At first, it wouldn't let me touch it like this, even touch the head, but now, I can handle it. It will not bite me. I can put it around my neck and even kiss it. I must add that since you don't know the difference between poisonous and non-poisonous snakes, whenever you see a snake, please don't touch it. Call your daddy, your mommy, or an adult first. Pythons have very sharp teeth that bend inwards so they can give a terrible bite if you don't handle them very well. So until the next episode, I would like you to subscribe, share, and press the like button. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.